Welcome to BOE Community Development Association, one of the communities in Ojokoro Local Council Development Area that is currently partnering with the state government to put an end to pupils traveling miles to get an education. This is a community project that is being born out of the fact that we believe we have need for a community primary school within this environment because the environment is highly populated and so most of our little children go very far to access primary education by crossing major roads and occasionally they are being run down by vehicles and this is not too pleasant for us. We decided as a community to begin this project and this is how far we have gone. Executive members of BOE community told Lagos Community Updates that for the country to work, all hands must be on deck to train the future leaders. 17 years ago when I came in here, precisely BOE environment is like a bush. But the intervention of the current government, governor of Lagos State, we are having BOE Street being tarred. The drainage are being put in place and to make sure our road are being tarred, it has now become a city of its own. And within that 17 years as well, if you look to my right hand side, we're having a water project. It's part of what I was not meeting here, but while I'm here, it has become something that is serving the community. A very big water scheme project that was being completed by the project on the governor of Lagos State. During the days of my former chairman in this local government, community road where you're coming through is never a road. But through their effort, they are able to get it constructed in a very good form. Our children in this community have to go far, almost two, three miles, to attend public primary schools. And the past three chairmen of this local CDA has been making efforts to make this school a reality. We've been trying our best because we don't want our children to be crossing roads or going extra miles before they can be able to at least get a primary education. Seeing our children and our youth in the community being sent back from uh, those high rocketed fee school around. We decided nothing would be best for us to do other than to have a primary school for the teaming population of our children here. They call on necessary stakeholders to join hands with them to recreate a smart community in Buin and Lagos State in general. Looking at the economic situation of the country, the economic reality of the country that we are now, because so far we started this project by tasking each houses within this community. After that, we did a mini launching where we were being able to raise funds. We've written a series of letters to corporate organizations within. There's even one that promised that if the school is completed, they will donate paint and come over to paint by themselves. But because the school has not seen the light of the day, we are still where we are till today. That is why we are using this opportunity to talk to corporate organizations once again, that they should come to the aids of these little ones. Whatever thing we can do as a legacy to give them good quality education, it will be of the best interest of this community. By the completion of these schools, people live in BOE, Jubilee CDA, Ikelua CDA, and some other neighboring CDAs in this environment will not be going extra miles by going to Agbado Kolinti to attend primary school or by going to a very far place, closing four or five different roads before they can be able to get primary education. It's primary needs. We need it. And from BOE, members of community development committees in Ojokoro Luku Council Development Area took us on a facility tour around the nearly completed administrative building to complement the giant effort of the state government. We have in front, this is the uh, conference room. And, you know, anytime we, we are still going to uh, complete this place and put furniture for the conference. Then we have the computer room here. The youth within the community could be trained. So this is the admin office. Okay. This is the admin office. Uh, is, this is where we intend to keep our records. The journey of a thousand miles, they say, begins with a step. But how many miles did the community leaders run before getting here? The CDC chairman explains. The administration before we came in, 
purchased an additional land because they realized that we will need this parcel of land later. There was an uncompleted building on the parcel of land. And when we came on board, we now decided to build an administrative block, a conference room, and event center, which will be useful to the community. This we have been able to do within the available resources. The, the CDC were contributing money to see that this project is actualized to this level. We consider it necessary for the social and economic development of our area. Therefore, we embarked on purchasing additional lands on which we have erected uh, a unit of building consisting of uh, administrative block, business center, and all those things that can promote the economic and social activities of our local government and in this area in general. According to them, aside generating revenue for the community to undertake development projects, it will also be a great use for the youth in the area. We have a computer room, a, computer, a conference room, computer room inside it. Um, if we, we can organize uh, development training for our children within the community, we buy computers, install them, and ask these children to come and learn computer there. It will make them uh, computer literate. The next stage of this project is to get the place tiled. When we tile it, we want to uh, interlock the compound to make it uh, more decent for use. And we believe by so doing, it will encourage people to come and rent the hall for usage, which will gener generate revenue for the government. While the wait for help from necessary agencies, Ojokoro CDCs reveal that they will not rest on their halls in contributing to sustainable community development in their locality. It gives me joy to be part of the team that uh, attained this level in the Ojokoro CDC. Simply because the people we took over from, they started very well. And when we took over, we had a plan of consolidating their efforts in uplifting the social and economic development of our area.